Wolf Tick Nation. Thank you guys for tuning into once again another Wolf Tick Videos bonus episode. That's right, guys. So if you guys are into bonus episodes as much as we are, hit that like button, hit that it's subscribe It's only a bonus episode if we meet our quota for the month. We gotta meet our quota, <laughs> alright? So share this video. Now, I know the Wolf Tick Nation out there, some of you guys are e-bike fans, um, some of you guys aren't, right? But this guy right here, this brand, hit us up once again, yep. because they initially hit us up. I think this was one of our first e-bikes that we got to try on the channel. It, it was our first e-bike that was for off-road yeah right? because and our I first e-bike was the 10 ways was the 10 ways and then this and was then our first e-bike that went we, off road we took this thing out to um the occ trails and yes. i never will forget how wolfman Dude, over here was, giggled like a little school girl and was just like oh my god this is just another i this was is, shaking you know and that's the people it's pretty much intended for is guys uh you know maybe a little bit bigger well, have some it, hard it, issues uh you know it totally went it made me feel like it was obtainable to be back on the trails again yeah and that's that's what these bikes are all about you know a lot of people hate on uh e-bikes you know um especially I yeah i mean i, hate when I see too. young people riding e-bikes i'm like what the hell's going on <laughs> but it's there? an old person's game changer right and then uh, it, what's nice about e-bikes guys the, look getting old sucks there's only a few things that make getting old fun and e-bikes and having the right to ride e-bikes is one of them yeah and the thing that's great about e-bikes and we had this discussion last week when we're out in the trails is it gets people out on the trails that normally wouldn't be so it like just me. yeah it just that brings this whole i community. have rode regular bikes on trails within the last few years but i i, I won't do any more without an e-bike all right guys so on today's episode enough with the small talk we are going to be doing initial impressions on the all-new Hayoki black leopard pro e-bike you well, can get this thing the snow leopard right? yeah this right okay. here's the black leopard, black leopard. All, right. all right so uh, guys we're fixing to pop into this thing we're going to uh, break it open we're going to be weighing this thing going through a shift test uh messing with Ooh, the bike computer and all that uh see what the battery looks like yeah. hope the scale can handle it it's supposed to be over 70 hey, pounds make sure you don't disconnect the battery while it's on yeah Just berserker let yes, you know berserker. okay he don't hurt uh, and also, guys, on a, later, get blown up. on a later episode, we will be doing a real-time review on this bike where I hop on it, we put it through its paces. You might even see Wolfman on one of the trails. All right? So, you guys, might. without further ado, let's break into the Hayoki. <laughs> get off my hand. Oh, my love. All right, guys, we're ready to open this thing up and show you guys what it's all about. $14.99, 750-watt motor, brushless motor, 48-volt, 20-amp-hour battery, supposed to get 60 to 80 miles per charge, depending on the levels of pedal assist. And, and the terrain, I'm sure. And the terrain. Yeah. All right, guys, initial impressions. Hit that like button. This is the Black Leopard Pro from I think it's just is it Black Leopard Pro or just That's leopard? what it says on the, okay. on the, on the internet. Right, ready? Yes. Oh. Holy crap. Well, I like the Dude, those some big tires or what? Damn. 26 by 4 inch tires. Yeah. Jeez. Mm. Well, I believe this is supposed like to be the, on the... I like the little white ball strip deal on it. That right there is supposed to be on the brake caliper, isn't it? Not on the fork. <laughs> what the hell? Is that the brake block? Yeah. Oh, that's a different style tread. Oh, it is. Whoa. Check out the tread there, guys. That is a different style tread altogether. Yeah, I like the re reflective white wall. Is that like going out? Yeah, that's cool. It is a reflective white wall. Yeah. That's neat. Kind of like the 10 ways bike was, remember? Yeah. Got a reflector on there, and it is a quick release. That is it, too it cool. It still is that way. All right. Okay. All right. I see the battery and everything else. Man, that's a massive box back here. We got the seat up there. Holy, look at that stem. Bang. Jeez. Steady. It's a huge stem. Okay, and this thing has got a 400 pound weight capacity. You know, you were talking Cover. about, you were wondering, well, wasn't the, the Snow Leopard pretty much the same bike or the one that we first originally tested out? This is supposed to be their newest model is why they want to send it to us, but I think that one was like 300 pound weight capacity. Do you know what I really liked about that the first one though? Is it's, it not only did it allow me to get in places, although they, won't, they don't want it on certain trails, so I don't take it on anymore. Mm -hmm. But it also, it, it carried, man, that thing handled me. It handled a bunch of camera gear. And it handled going up some steep crap in Missouri. And that's Remember what these that things, crap? yeah, and that's what they're really nice for. I mean, Dude. this one right here, guys, looks like it has a, a rack. And this was one of the free items that come with it. Yeah. I and like the by rack. the looks of it, we'll take a closer look. By the looks of it, the sucker looks massive. Like, it looks really it, it beefy. It looks beefy from here, yeah. Beefy. Beefy. All right, look at that battery. Oh, battery's got some damage to it. Oh, no. That's weird. What kind of damage? Well, what's weird is, I think it's, I think the cover on it's aluminum, and it just looks like it's got some scratches right here. Okay, scratches. Like little gouges, oh, you know, okay. which bothers me because it's right up on the top, and this, 
it's yeah, it's aluminum plate instead of just being plastic. Uh -huh. That's pretty cool, but it's got gouges in it. Well, how bad are the gouges? I see something from here, but I don't know if that's a gouge or if that's a design. It looked decently bad. I mean, I don't know what size the rear rotor is, okay, but we at least have got a hydraulic rear caliper. Oh, really? This is hydraulic. Okay, see, and I use the crap out of the rear. The use brake. the crap out of your brakes. I, you ain't I, a little kamikaze rider like I am. I did. First of all, okay, hey, okay. you're not a middle-aged 300-pound man <laughs> with health issues, okay? <laughs> if I wreck, it's done. I'm, just bury me right there on the side of the trail. <laughs> Cause I'm done. You you bounce up in like a you know like spider monkey. So I don't want to hear about it. Speaking of uh, old middle aged men, the seat post looks like it has a suspension deal on it. I, I so like that. I know you like that. Uh, it, it, as much as I can get the springiness. Okay, we got two boxes. Let's see if this is the first that we've ever gotten with an e-bike. Okay. This okay. right here feels like a charger. You seem to know something about this. You're not telling me. Okay. So the charger. This is a. A U.S. style plug, okay, oh and it is a three amp charger. Okay. All right. Now there is not an, there's not an internal fan on it. But it's a three amp. It's a three amp. It's supposed to be a smart charger. LED indicator. Uh, let's see. Output is 54.6 volts uh, at three amps. Wow, three amp. Um, okay. Yeah. So uh, here is the charger, guys. And again, okay. it doesn't have the fan inside. And man, I think one of our uh, one of our old school patrons, um, e bike Mike or e bike Builder, one of those, uh, they were talking about um, making sure that your charger was airy, like in a very like outdoor. I know you like for me to charge them outdoors, uh, just because yes. sometimes these chargers get hot, and well, it's really nice when you have a fan that's blowing in there to help cool it down. But I this like one doesn't have one. Outdoors for a number of reasons, uh, and, and and one of them is just in case safety. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we'll see what's inside this other box. I'm guessing uh, pedals, you know, for sure. There's going to be some pedals in there. What else are we going to have? Certain types of batteries gas uh, they, they, when you charge them. And I'm not saying these do. I'm just saying certain types. Certain do. ones do. Ready? Okay. So we have got an owner's manual with some tools. And, you know, I mean, we have so much of these tools. Most of the time they're crappy, but it's nice that they thought, hey, let's send them some tools. I I'm never going to criticize someone for sending tools. We got let's a massive... Her quick release skewer nine millimeter okay we have got the pedals and these are aluminum pedals we're gonna be talking about all this stuff guys let's see what else we've got so that's the bike computer and then there's your uh, for your level of pedal assist okay what happened to the good old days when they just used to mount these on the bar did they not they, okay that's, you know so anyway we've got this um not a throttle i don't know if there's a throttle on the bar i know you're big on throttles i kind of hope they don't have a throttle so i have another bike in my arsenal yeah I might have a throttle. If it has a throttle, then I won't be able to Oh, dude, it. I think it's got a horn. Oh, uh, you know me. I think it's got a horn. I misuse horns constantly. Uh, Why is the battery on? Hey, you better watch your mouth. Yeah, watch it with that blade. Okay, that's enough. Um... I don't know why the battery's on. Yeah, why is it? Turn it off. We don't want. We can't have. Can't have berserker having a coronary. Well, I don't know if there's an off switch on this thing. All right, this is what we're gonna do, guys. We are going to. Uh, that's a massive chain ring. Damn, that's a big chain ring. We are going to. Uh, let's put this bike together, and then we'll do the once over on this bike. Okay. It's got hey, hydraulic let's brakes. Let's roll putting it together. It's got hydraulic brakes, both front and rear. Oh really? Yes. Wow, this wow. is an upgrade, and this is fifteen hundred, fourteen. This is fourteen ninety nine, and that's regular price. Is and it? there's a possibility that they're going to send us a coupon code for it. So, oh yeah. man, they're stepping up their game. Then, all right, well, let's I get this thing. Good, let's get this thing built up. It's gonna be fun to ride. Oh, I can't wait. I just hope the throttle's deletable if it's on there. If there's no throttle, great. If there is, well, we can delete it. Here is the Black Leopard Pro e-bike. Definitely not a big issue when it came to putting it together. And that's something that I really appreciated about the packaging. They did a good job on that. They sent us all the tools that we need to put this together. We still got a torque wrench and made sure we were safe with it because everybody and their brother is always like, hey, you've got to make sure you torque stuff down, right? And it's safer well, to I be mean, able to it, do there's that. There's a good reason they say that. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not hating on you. Um, now, one of the biggest uh, features, right? We're going to be talking about features. We're going to do a magnet test. We're going to be weighing this bike, shift test, all that good stuff. So make sure you guys stick around.
some things I want to talk about. There's first of all one of the features. I don't know if you want to you know consider this. You've got front and rear fenders. Okay. The great thing was the rear one was already put on there. Guys, you won't believe how many times an e-bike's been sent, and I'm like, oh, I just like the looks without the fenders. I only say that because I hate putting fenders on. Is that why? Hayoki has made it so easy to snap these guys in, and the reason why is because they already putting they already put the mounting hardware on there. Only thing I had to do was just um, tighten up like a 10 millimeter of a bolt. So that was great. And okay. it wouldn't take a normal person that not filming, it wouldn't take them that long to put this together. No, it took me a while to get this put together. Well, but we have to move cameras around. You have to move the camera and, and you got to show a bunch of stuff. Yeah. So uh, that is a cool feature that already comes pretty much, you know, put together for the most part. Um, everything feels pretty good quality. Um, another very cool feature, and this right here was actually brought up on one of, uh, I don't know, one of of the many e-bike videos that we've done, the battery, somebody had mentioned a while back in the comments, they said, man, I'm so glad you pointed out that uh, whatever e-bike it was, that it actually has a USB port on there because I can charge my phone now, I use it for commuting. Well, they can mount the, it and connect it. Yeah, now. so the cool thing about this, guys, is if you have a phone mount somewhere you can put on the bar, maybe on your top tube, you can actually plug it directly into your battery and your battery will charge your phone. Have we tested that? So that is neat. Let's test that theory. You want to test that real quick? Let's test it. We've got a cord right here. All right, let's do it. Charging? Do it on the battery. All right, phone is charging, so it works. This bike is $14.99 on Hayoki site right now. Something I got all excited about was doing a little bit of cross-referencing and making sure I have all my uh, ducks on a row. It said this bike, right, was supposed to come with mirrors, and it was supposed to come with an, a waterproof accessory bag. Oh, well, did you look through the box real good? I did. I looked all through it. So right now, guys, for $14.99, if you go on their site at the time of this filming, they offer free gifts. One of them is a mirror, and one of them is a waterproof did bag. Did you forget us on that? I don't know. I don't okay, know if they should be Okay, time out, though. There's another, there's another package that they sent. Could it be in that? Is there another package? Did they not send a bike rack? Oh, yeah, they did send a bike rack. Could yeah. it be in that? It could be in that. That's another thing. I'm glad you brought that up. On the real-time review, Heyoki actually sent us a fat tire e-bike um, bike rack. Right. Yeah, and it's supposed to handle the that. weight of this thing. We're fixing to uh, weigh it. Uh, so that's going to be very interesting. This thing is actually, I looked it up on here. Mm -hmm. It's not terrible, but I yeah. think it's going to be somewhere on the 50s, you know. Well, I think that's, I think, what was the, what was the last one? You have, have to go back and watch initial yeah. impressions. But, uh, yeah, so on the real-time review, we'll check out the bike rack. We'll put it on the truck, and we'll see if it does come with the mirrors and the, the bag. Hopefully. I really hope it does. What's what's meant to mount on the front? Is that for me? Uh, another basket. So that's something oh, okay. really cool with this. Not only do we have the rear rack on this, which is a very cool feature, we have a brake light, we have a headlight, but we also have a bunch of mounting positions um, on the front head tube there to actually mount another rack. And Heoki does offer a bunch of accessories. Another cool thing that Heoki does when you buy this bike is they give you a three-year warranty on your battery. Really? Three-year okay. free battery replacement. I don't know. I, now, I don't know for sure, but I don't remember another company giving a three-year battery warranty. No, I don't, I don't remember be. either. Yeah, I don't remember I either. Don't but uh, so Heoki does offer that. It's real big and bold um, is that part, whenever you click is that on the site. standard or do you have to pay extra for that? Uh, it's standard. It says free. So uh, uh, that does come with this uh, Heoki bike. Again, it's $14.99. Uh, we've got the 48-volt, uh, 20-amp-hour uh, battery. Supposed to get you anywhere from 60 to 80 miles, depending on your level of pedal assist. It's got five levels of pedal assist, 90 newton meters of torque, wow. and I think that's the that's highest torque. that we've had yet, guys. That's Super torquey. 750 watt rear hub. Uh, it's brushless. We are definitely going to be playing with the electronics on the initial impressions and on the real time review is where we're going to get on this thing and ride it. Uh, 400 pound weight capacity on this bike. I like that. Um, now, what is your feelings on the throttle up here? Well, we, we're going to do likes and dislikes after. Okay, we're going to do some likes and dislikes, maybe who this bike is yeah. for, because there's some stuff that. I see that I'm not really a big fan of, um, and maybe well, the whole I see family some will agree or, or I want disagree. to talk about too, but I'll save it for that. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do our famous magnet test. We're going to go through the entire bike and uh, see what's all aluminum and what is steel. So the frame is actually 6061 aluminum. I read oh, that. Okay. Well, so frame is aluminum. Now red. Oh, look at that. The bike rack is aluminum. The Very bike. cool. You mean the cargo rack? Yeah, there? the cargo rack is aluminum. The crank arms are aluminum. All right. The fork. The lowers are probably magnesium or something, but uh, the stanchions are steel. Uh, this is a coil fork, so everybody out there knows. The stem, the largest damn stem I've ever seen in my life, is aluminum, and the bars are aluminum. Seat post tube, okay, is aluminum outer shell, the internal shell, because this is a, one of those suspension bouncy seats that's supposed to take up some of the, uh, you know, some of the harsh riding. Yeah. Uh, the internal part there is uh, is steel. Internal? I mean, they're talking about the frame of the seat. 
Uh, no, there's, there's a shaft that's got a coil spring oh, in there. Okay. That's, that's suspension. Oh, it's like. legit. It's fancy. Okay. Yeah, so uh, that there is steel on the inside, then the shell is aluminum, and the pedals are aluminum as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get into specking this bike out. All right, oh, the wheel set is aluminum. Wheel set's aluminum as well, okay? All right, let's go ahead and talk about this uh, while we're talking about the wheel set. It is a aluminum 26 by 4 inch uh, wheel set, and the tires are super knobby. That's one thing I was really surprised with with this is I'm looking forward to maybe riding like in Russellville. They do allow these style of bikes on the trails. This thing in some dirt is going to be a lot of fun because Last I don't think... I don't think there's going to be any sketchiness on there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, those tires are very knobby. We're used to the Chow Yangs. They definitely change it up on this. The really cool thing with the tires is... Are these is, unbranded? No, no, they're unbranded tires. Uh, the cool thing with these tires is, you mentioned this earlier, um, if you are going to be using this thing as a commuter, you're going to be riding in the dark. Um, not only do we have reflectors on the wheel set, but we also have reflective, uh, like a reflective painted line on both uh, front and rear. The front is a 9mm quick release, so pretty cool if we do happen to get any flats or anything like that. Uh, let's go and talk about the group set. Now we've got the traditional big old Shimano, Cherny, Mickey, Mickey Mouse, Mouse shifter. Yeah. I, they're I, ugly, I, but they work. They're ugly, but they work so good. I'm kind of a fan of the Mickey Mouse mm -hmm. shifter. It is a one by one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a one by seven, okay? We've got a 48 tooth massive chain ring up front, and then the rear is a 14 to 28 tooth cassette, and it is a, a free wheel back there, okay? It's not a, a free hub, okay. um, which isn't a big deal. Uh, you know, something that is kind of neat with, uh, you know, as far as free hubs are concerned, our free wheels are concerned, is we could get a mega range and put on this. It's, Could we? Yeah, I mean, you know. It's, I, wonder it's, the, I wonder if the derailleur would handle it. Well, it's a six to seven speed derailleur, so it's, it's a tourney. I think the tourney is what we've ran on, uh, on other bikes. I think you're right. I think the tourney had the mega range on the Nishiki, right? Was that a tourney? Yeah, it was it a tourney originally. And that was a, that's a, the mega range goes to 34 tooth, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so this one here is a 1428 tooth. Maybe we'll we get a little more here. But I mean, this is an e-bike. You know what I'm saying? We got a throttle up there, and we've got a battery for a reason. So hopefully, we won't have to be like shifting and climbing all the, a bunch without the battery power uh, to assist us. Uh, the seat post. Um, again, we, it is a suspension seat, uh, but the seat post is actually a 30.4 millimeter, which is kind of an awkward size. But I was thinking about it. That's fine because we're not going to be looking for a dropper with this. You know what I'm well, saying? No. We're not going to be looking for a carbon fiber to save weight. This bike is what it is. Um, and if we ever do any changes on it, it'll be minimal stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me measure this live, live action style. Yeah, with your uh, tape measure. Yeah, with my tape measure here. All uh, um, Jones AZ. I think he enjoyed the last episode where I ruined the tape measure. Thank you so much. You didn't ruin it. You definitely put an indentation. Indentation. One of our patrons. All right. So the frame size is a 19 and a half inch. Uh, the standover, well, they actually gave us standover measurements, and it's 31 inches. We'll be doing a standover, too. I you don't think it's going to be great. too good. No, like. I don't think so. Uh, let's talk about the fork and the bar. Um, this whole area up front, okay? And again, guys, we're messing with the electronics, so uh, make sure you guys stay tuned, okay? The fork. Now, as far as the exposed stanchion, okay? Now, this is not the travel, just what it's showing. Uh, nothing was listed as far as the fork's concerned, other than that's a coil suspension fork. It is right at 140 millimeters of exposed stanchion. Okay. Most likely, we'll probably get about 100, okay? We're well, not going to be doing... we don't know for sure. Yeah, we're not going to be doing a Wolfman Dino, because the only thing... Uh, 32 millimeter stanchions. Okay, the width is 32, so that's good. They're big and beefy. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing Ish. a Wolfman Dino because uh, the only thing this fork has got is a lockout, and it's got one of those really crappy preload knobs, and that's a coil fork. So uh, really, no need. There's no rebound or anything like that. But um, we'll be doing the real time review, talking about that lockout because one thing I have found out is I am I'm all for a really stiff lockout when it comes to riding on the road. I think we both we're both for stiff lockouts. Yeah. Um, yeah, you do definitely. You get a little. Uh, I get a little, I get a little, a little offended upset. when they call the lockout and don't lock. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the stem. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. The stem is the largest stem I have ever seen. It's 108 millimeters long. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that stem can go anywhere between 35 mm -hmm. and 145 degrees. I was waiting I, for the elephant. I've always disliked these stems because uh -huh. I always think about safety. Safety is, is a very big thing on this channel. You never think of safety. I'm not going to be jumping this in, thank goodness, but I mean, if I was to, I I would be very sketched out because I've never trusted if these stems. If you jumped that, something's going wrong. Yeah. So I guess if guys got, if, you know, th this bike is supposed to be rated for riders anywhere between 5'5", five, five, which is my height, and 6'8". 
Well, okay. I'm six four, so maybe I'll have to like adjust that sucker up because my arms aren't as long oh, as I'm, yours. Oh, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. gonna adjust it because I don't want to be that far over the front. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's a it's I'll a crazy setup. Have to see how the setup. cockpit feel is. Yeah, see how the cockpit feel is. Um, are the riding just the overall riding position on this bike? You know, with me, it's probably gonna be a little awkward because the standover is 31 inches. This bike seems to be pretty big. But anyway, let's talk about the uh, the brakes. And this is something I'm very excited about. You know, you think you're paying you're you're paying 14.99 for an e-bike which is, is expensive you know it was well hang on for an e-bike that's that capable i don't think that's expensive i think that's budget because they're you know what is that a massive spider kill that thing yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it went right across the top of his foot all right go ahead uh, so the thing is at 14.99 i don't know if that's first of all if that's that expensive Okay, first of all. Mm -hmm. And second of all, with the bike that that's capable, on paper, we haven't tested it yet. If it's as capable as they say it is, I don't think 1499 is expensive at all. Okay, we'll have to see on the real-time review. You guys let us know I mean, before and after. 400 pound capacity. Yeah, 400 pound. How many e-bikes have we had that has a 400 pound capacity? We have not None. had one e-bike that's that's rated for that much. So I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna judge it yet. Okay. Uh, the and what I was getting at basically was it's nice to have that uh, that safety and not only the safety right and hopefully they're good. Uh, but just knowing that, man, this thing comes with hydraulic brakes, something that everybody wants most of the time with a, a mountain bike or an e-bike. Mm. You know, cable actuated is great, but when it comes to hydraulic, it just makes you think, man, they actually paid a little bit more attention and they want to give me a little bit extra. So I as would long think, as they work good. Yeah, as long as they work good. The uh, brakes are both unbranded uh, and the uh, rotors um, are uh, 160 millimeters, which another thing I'm not too big on. You know, I wish that they're at least 180, uh, maybe 180 up front, 160 in the rear, just 180 both front and rear i don't know why they didn't do that for us this bike's probably going to be super heavy all right so what do you say let's go ahead and do a shift test let's see how this thing shifts okay. out of the box there's something Make back here that's kind of bothering me uh, we'll oh. do a shift test guys and then we're gonna do a standover we're gonna do the weight and then we'll do a likes and dislikes here we go with the shift test now something that's bothering me so everybody knows we've seen the scratch on the battery right so obviously this thing kind of took a dive somewhere not in well it was in our hands this derailleur hanger is bent and I don't know if the chain's actually going to be able to get in between the uh, the cog and the uh, the derailleur hanger. It does have an external derailleur hanger for everybody out there. And the cool thing about it is it's actually reinforced with another plate of either aluminum or steel. But uh, it got bent somehow, so I'm not sure how it's going to shift. Okay, so everybody knows that right off the bat. All right, let's go ahead and go to first gear. Okay, ready? Mm hmm Okay. Oh, okay. We already we already got off. Okay. Hit that brake. I don't want to get my fingers cut in there. Please don't. First gear is. We'll keep it right there. Go ahead and hurry up and shift a second before it comes off there. All right, ready? Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, second gear. You guys hear that little bit of rubbing? That's to do with that bent derailleur. I think so. Yeah. Okay, third gear. Fourth. Fifth. Okay, now he's about to go to seventh. This is here. I don't know if it's going to clear. Yeah, it's grinding on that derailleur hanger. That sucker's it? bent, man. Damn, that's yeah. unfortunate. Yeah, very unfortunate that that guy's bent. Um, like I said, I tried to get a shot of there, so hopefully you guys can see that. We might go ahead, uh, before we do the real-time review, we might get that derailleur hanger tool, um, the alignment tool. We might throw that on here just to make sure that it's straight. I mean, we want to give it a fair review, and we, since we've changed our yeah. policies about trying to make sure it's in the best shape possible without doing upgrades. Yeah, so... Uh, it looks like it's tuned in decently. It's just now I we haven't contacted. This is the first time we've seen it. We haven't contacted Heyoki and let them know about this yet. I'm sure if we did, they would probably want to make it right. Yeah. But we haven't done it yet, so we don't. Know. Right, you guys see this? No, it's not going to go good. Uh -uh, I can already tell you. Good. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. You gonna sing while you do it? Oh, yeah. That's Whoa. I'm on my tippy toes, big time. If I go off my tippy toes, it ain't gonna be good. So yeah, I'm on my tippy toes. I mean, I don't have any room whatsoever. Okay, none whatsoever. Riders five five to six eight. Remember that. That's what well, this thing you're on it, recommends. I mean, it feels like I'm up here. It. Yeah, just don't come off it. It feels like I am up here. Um, it even has that drop on that top tube. You know what I'm mm. saying? Once you do the stand over and see how you All like right. it. Pause it. Oh. Yeah, I'm six four, but I will say this: I'm six four with more torso than leg. But I'm still got more leg than you do, and uh, yeah, it's uh, 
Uh, it, this could be a little on the dangerous side. I'm gonna tell you right now. Yeah, when imagine I, falling off. Imagine me. Of flip flops. Yeah, that this this is definitely not gonna be for you. It's a good looking bike. All right, guys, we're gonna try to get this thing weighed. It is a beast. It's a beast. It's a beast. That kickstand is probably really gonna take the most of it. We get that kickstand. We're not gonna use the wheel to weigh it, son. It's not gonna be Gosh. high enough, is it? No, well, it might be barely. It might barely be. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 75.20 pounds. Let's get the UKers. Dude, that's crazy. All right, all the UKers out there. Uh, we've got a whole lot of kilograms. That's 34.11. Damn, that's a heavy, heavy bike. All right, guys, heavy girl, heavy boy. Sorry, big sister Brenda. Now let's go and look at the bike computer and all the electronics. We have got a horn. I love that. Okay, we've got a power button. And let me get my head in here real quick. Uh, looks like a headlight button and a minus button. And of course, here for the levels of pedal assist. So I'm gonna hold the button down. Let's see what the display looks like. Really good looking screen. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. How uh, fast are we going? Oh, we had switched to miles per hour. Thank you. Okay, cool. So look at this. We have a trip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you already put some miles on this? No. We about? got an odometer, max speed, and the great thing, guys, is the radio miles per hour. And then we have an average speed. How cool is that? Okay, so that's really neat. Now, that's a cool look to it. Okay, pedal assist zero, so uh, we know you can go to the zero version if you want to. One, two, three, four, and five. Very cool. No, no six. I even like no six. I even like the uh, display up there for the battery. You know, it shows one bar down. That's what it shows on the battery itself yeah, too. Yeah, but that might be a false reading. Okay, now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the headlight button down. Let me get over here first. Oh, headlight. Okay, so it's not a hold down, it's just a push just to it. Hit it. Just hit it and be done. Yep, and the cool thing um, is whenever you turn your headlight on, the uh, screen dims a little bit. It's still bright, but it does dim a little bit. I really like that this thing has a headlight. Now, whenever I'm in the city, uh, I always have my headlight on, um, regardless if it's day or night. So having that feature on here with the control on the controller is pretty neat. And also we have the brake light, which is also uh, another big safety feature, especially when you're riding on the road um, in traffic, if it's a bike lane or not. Uh, it does kick on whenever you hit your brake lever. So I do like that. And the cool thing is the computer actually shows that you're hitting your brake. I'm letting you know. You know. Alright guys, time for a little bit of uh, positive, negative, and who is this bike for? Uh, do you want to start it off today? Yeah, I'll start it off. Alright, well, go ahead. Uh, so, some of the positives right away for me. Get your it, hand out of your pocket. You're making me nervous. So, uh, okay, so some of the positive negatives for me is going to be now this is all hypothetical as we haven't tested it yet and you know as much as we know one of the positives is going to be the battery life okay. if it works out to be what it's supposed to it seems that it's going to have good battery life if it lives up to it this beefiness right here i mean i'm impressed by how beefy that yeah. rack is you know what i like about the rack too is it didn't shortchange you and give you like a little piece of one they gave you a, almost a full it, length it, of the rear tire that bike i mean that that rack looks legit like it can handle some stuff you know what the the underneath the uh brake light can handle it can handle a license plate that's cool oh that you know, is those cool. little walmart ones you can get one of those and put well on maybe some places require you to have a license Possibly. plate on there too um i like the i do like the tires uh, I, I think they're going to be something different. I mean, it's nice to see something a little bit different on the bike. Yeah. Uh, I, I like the looks of the bike. I like the little suspension deal in the seat there. Uh, hypothetically, it's got a little bit of cushioning here and there. So we'll see how that goes. I like the fact that they went hydraulic. Uh, nice. I think that's something different. And for that price range, I think that's great. Uh, I, I don't like... Um, I mean, this isn't their fault. I don't like the fact that it came damaged, but that's, you know, again, that's 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 going to be the luck of the draw with shipping, I guess. Um, I don't like the fact that they went 160 rotors on this heavy of a bike. Yeah, this big of a I bike. I really believe they should have at least went 180 front and rear, if not, and I know most people want the bigger up front, so if not a 203-180 combo. Yeah, that'd be Either cool. one of those things, but that's something we could uh, change with some adapters and stuff. Oh, I don't like that the Charger doesn't have a fan. Yeah. I would. I always prefer a fan being in it just to keep it a little cooler. It makes me feel better. I, I don't like... Uh, I, I didn't say I like this earlier. I said it earlier, but I didn't mention it recently. I do like that, but... One of the things I don't like... It's not straight. It's not straight. Yeah, it's crooked. It drives me nuts. But I'll yeah. be on it. I won't see it, so yeah, that won't bother me too bad. Yeah. I think this could be for the commuter that doesn't have to carry it up any stairs. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, yeah. a commuter that get, has a spot to chain it up whenever they're working. Yeah, maybe even the commuter that has to have a duffel bag or a suitcase or something. Someone that has to, to carry stuff with them. Yep. They've got room to carry it. And hey, this might gonna, be a good uh, lift. What was that called? Uh, Uber Eats, you know? Maybe. Yeah, something like that. It could possibly. I don't know. It's up 28 miles an hour. You can be able to handle most city streets at that top speed, you know? So. Yeah, I mean, I think I think it could be good for that. It could be good for the person that rides, like you were saying, someone that rides bike paths and maybe some light trains trails yeah uh maybe and know. the reason i'm saying it is i just don't think that this bike is going to be a great maneuverable mountain bike you know it's probably gonna be a lot more steady and heavy and it's probably gonna feel like that whenever we're riding it you know but um all right guys well wolf dick nation that was another hey okay yeah. bonus episode hopefully you guys appreciate it please hit that like button show your boys some love and don't forget to turn the notifications on guys because we're gonna be taking this thing on a real-time review probably throughout a city somewhere we're gonna and work on we're gonna first. show you hayoki's bike rack that they sent we haven't seen it i'm yet. looking forward to that i'm hoping it's beefy i but hope it's wolf really dick nation beefy. we will see you on the next episode appreciate you guys watching yeah